are you ready to pray prayer point number one psalm three psalm three please help us media psalm three and verse one lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse two many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in god verse three but thou O lord art a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Let the cross cross over the pussy get her. Shabbat in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison And the Bible says they kept him in prison, intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door. That kept the prison verse 7 the Bible says and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the Bible says and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10 hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of men it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of grass and cut the bars of iron in thunder He has broken the gates of power and cut the bars of iron in thunder. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. 
in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, 
I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers. This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Eliam are coming to bless me. Help prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. hallelujah now listen Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews and he was clearly cooperating with Vashti and God needed to remove Vashti and when God brought Esther Esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and Mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together 
when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees over our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus Where the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life show up in your life show up in your life show up in your life, in your life. listen to me every strange pattern and occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ Let's decree favor. Ah. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we are wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to work in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go, uh, go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shalt find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now to take our time we're going to be praying in the spirit with every sense of seriousness why are we praying number one as a corporate atmosphere of prayer to cultivate your prayer life for some of you in this anointing tonight what god is going to be doing is restoring your prayer fire because it has gone down and believe me you cannot reign in life when the ministry of prayer is dead over your life number two you will be praying to edify yourself to build up capacity in the spirit and number three, 
you're going to be praying releasing mysteries that god will bring everything that is locked up the gifts the graces the mantles the anointing the prophecies that have been kept in prison that will not let you find expression it must give way is someone ready to pray in the next 10 minutes no distraction it is between you and your savior open your mouth and cry like a priest go ahead and pray you are praying for the sake of your destiny if you want to walk around you can walk around you want to kneel you can kneel you want to lie you can lie but make sure you are praying no laziness no looking around pray Embracata bras koto koto bregete, ikrete gete gete belegete bros koto prata kata parada bakata bregete belegete, imprekete te shkate gete kade gete, kebrete gete shka le bregata, embranta skata lakata prata gete gete bregato da gete bregete gete, shade gete gete belegete bros koto prata, maka parakata branda gata legete. Megatos Katila Skosos Begede, Embri Neketos or Toros Katila Barata Katabra de Gedebelekatos, Embra Tegete Leke Prados Kaliklatos Egede Lekotos, Ebro Toto Koto Bragada Lakata Fredege de Beledos, Mata Branda Katabra Tegete Fredege de Belegados, Engre Tegete Pratus Katebrege de Beledos. Brakata bradege de bratus koto bradege de belere bosh. Bratus kosi se si bede bede borosh. He pray. La krato kata bradaga da bronto soto bregede. Am bragadus kali bradige de bronto skoto bregede. La kata bradaga da bradege de beleke tos kate brato koto shabrenda gedea. Maka brata kata bradege de beleke tos. Embracata pros koto pretegete legetex For the sake of your destiny For the sake of those looking up to you For the sake of your family Parente shalade begete brato koto pregete legetos Embracata pratagete rekosh kata brados koto pretegete beledebos Shate peregete peredegetos Ebracatoto Pratus can lebre negate baratos here the balado. Shabra da gate braska de la gata pratica de balatos. Mande shade baratos calibra de gate baladebo. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Heredes catebra de gate bratus calibra hasa da baladabo. Anda la baragata prata kete prata kete bele kete prosa de kada balada bosh. The flesh may be weak, but I assure you, the spirit is willing. Ali baratush kali prata kete bala bala. Shabara to shala baraka tapra nega de belekatos. Ede beretos kalebra takatapra nega de belekatos. Shabara to shala baraka tapra nega de belekatos. Shabara to shala baraka tapra nega de belekatos. 
Shade manana malaka tabra dege de beleke tes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, revive my spiritual life. Revive my prayer life. Revive my word study life. Revive my character. For the next five to six minutes, let that be your cry from the depth of your heart. Purge me, wash me, cleanse me, bring personal revival to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Revive, revive my life, revive my destiny, revive my prayer altar. Revive my passion for you. Revive my passion for the world. Someone is praying. from the depth of your heart let the fire of revival fall upon my life arabala shalaka tabrata gadebeleke tesh in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen we are still praying we are still praying a prayer of revival Revelation chapter 2 Revelation chapter 2 we we'll start our reading from verse 1. We are reading to verse 4. Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus. Right. This thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the stones. The, the seven golden candlesticks. Verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor. I know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And hast found them liars. Next verse. And has born and has patience. And for my name's sake you have labored and you have not fainted however verse 4 nevertheless i have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love five it says remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else i will come unto you quickly 
and I will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick except thou repent you are ready to pray father purge me and restore restore to me my spiritual experiences restore the visions restore the dreams restore the anointings restore the graces every virtue i have lost through carelessness every virtue i have lost through indiscipline every virtue i have lost through lukewarmness revive our lord god restore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Revival, O God. Restore, 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 restore. Restore fire. Restore dreams. Apratasca de Beleketosh, Emprataka Paracata Paracatosh, Cotoprendega de Beleketo. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. For you. Oh Lord. Will you set my life in order for you? For you, I want to know your ways. I want to know your ways. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. Listen to me, please. In this bedeviled world that we live in, can I tell you? It takes a grace for high level consecration to carry certain dimensions of the grace and power of God. To be consecrated means to be set apart you cannot serve the purposes of god and carry certain levels of graces with distractions everything calls your attention everything seems to be able to win your heart you are going to pray father dethrone everything that is not you until you become the king of kings seated at the throne of my heart every other idol everything i may have exalted above you i bring it to the foot of the cross lift your voice and pray take your place in my life oh god i dethrone every idol i dethrone everything that has attempted to replace you in my life Through the sacrifice of consecration, I desire to step into deeper dimensions. No distraction. Shade beleke te branda gada balakash Rada badegete belekete fraska da balanda bashkania. Rapata pradegete pretekoska lekrateska varanda barataria katapros. 
Shabre ke debele de baraga. Prakata prande ke debele de bos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I know that our time is gone. I will soon begin to pray. Aside from maybe those who are here, if you can, please pair yourselves into three. You are going to pray. Any three people at all. If there's no space, you can look for two people and just hold the hand of someone. Pair yourselves. You are going to hold hands and you are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. This prayer is a prayer of covenant with your destiny. That that which God intends for me to fulfill. In the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop me. You will pray for yourself and the person whose hand you are holding. Lord, every mantle and every grace that must come upon my neighbor, that must come upon my brother for destiny fulfillment. We are intentional about it tonight. Let it fall from heaven. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Everything that makes for preparation for a glorious destiny. We agree in prayer. This mantle must rest upon us tonight. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Pray and stretch in the spirit. in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus one last prayer point don't be tired you are making an investment for your destiny you're going to lay your hands on your head and say the glory of my destiny show forth the glory of my destiny show forth in the name of jesus lay your hands and decree and declare this is the season where the glory of my destiny must show forth 
I lay my hands on my head as a token of my glory thou O oh Lord art a shield for me you are my glory the lifter up of my head someone pray the glory of my destiny the glory of my call the glory of my assignment hear the word of the Lord this is the season when you shine forth show forth manifest pray e bata kato bakara tosh kalibas em brata kate pros katila kato fras kate belekato glory of my destiny show forth show forth show forth show forth in the name of Jesus show forth the glory of my destiny show forth by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen if you pay attention to all the spiritual exercises and the activities tonight you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes listen this is how great men are made there is no other way this is a sacrifice you are making for your destiny tomorrow if anybody tells you you were just lucky tell them there is no such thing as luck there is a cup you are drinking and there is a baptism you are being baptized with i feel in my spirit to add one more prayer request the bible says and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped you are going to pray my spiritual capacity hear the word of the lord for tonight enlarge until you can carry the mantle of my destiny enlarge enlarge my capacity for the prophetic my capacity for evangelism my capacity to receive the mantle of favor enlarge by the power of the holy ghost i borrow vessels in the spirit i borrow not a few enlarge 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 capacity to hear enlarge capacity to see enlarge capacity to speak enlarge and the the belaga the praska the belaga the praska the lekata enlarge by the power of the holy ghost enlarge my spiritual capacity i stretch you by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hunger i stretch my expectation From the depth of your heart. Shade bala gata prada gata prosko to balash. Ebrata gata prada gata karaba shala gata. Mata prada gata prada gata. Let's spread the gate of the cup of fire, the bala, the bala, the bala. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please listen to me there are five major reasons and there are five major expectations that you must have every time you come into the presence of God whenever God calls for a solemn assembly it is because he seeks to do five things ah, there's such a cloud in this place my God consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence it fills this place consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this place consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills my life consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this place So fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over Fill me up Till I overflow I want to run over Now listen Every time you come before the God of heaven the first reason why he draws you to himself and to a place like this is to give you life transforming encounters life transforming encounters let me define for you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes god become real to you knowing a theoretical god will not do you much as far as destiny is concerned because when you stand before pharaoh he will ask you who sent you and you cannot tell pharaoh about a theoretical god you must tell him about a god you have met the first reason why god draws us to himself at moments like this is to give you encounters so that like apostle peter you will say the things that we have seen the things that we have heard the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we teach number two the second reason why god draws us to himself at times like this is to give us an opportunity for transformation what's the praying transformation is the name given to the process that makes you become like christ in experience now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of god it says we are changed from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god so moments like this are supernatural moments that are sponsored by a desire to have transformation in your life number three and that is the major reason why we are here tonight 
is that when God calls a people to himself in a solemn assembly like this, he wants to reveal his grace and his power. The revelation of the power of God is very important. He says, oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and even for his wonderful works to the children of men that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Listen, a generation that does not know the power of God will not be able to defend the name of Jesus. Everyone must know what the power of God looks like. Not just the word of God. Not just the message. Our fathers who left us this heritage were not just people who heard about God. They saw his raw power on display. And it was on the strength of that that they could live and die for Jesus. There are levels of the power of God you must see in your life. You must know that he heals. You must know that he delivers. It's not enough to hear that he heals. You must see that he heals. It's not enough to hear that he can lift men. You must see that he can lift men. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. Not just oh hear and assume. Taste and see. I believe in Jesus Christ today. Because number one the word of God says so. But in all honesty I will tell you. I have seen God do spectacular things. In my life and in the life of people. God wants you to leave this camp. With a level of certainty about God. That when they tell you God can change a man's story, no devil can turn your heart against that truth. Because you have not only heard, you have seen. Why do we need miracle signs and wonders? Because there are needs in our lives that only the power of God can solve. There are needs in our lives that go beyond counseling. There are needs in our lives that go beyond advice. We need a head-on collision with the power of the Most High. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel replied and said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Why do you need an encounter with the power of God? Because there are devils and there are demons and there are spirits determined to thwart the purposes of God over your life. Many of us here, you come from families where you are the first person to rise to this level. And let me tell you, without the power of God, what happened to those who went before you will happen to you too. Psalm 66 verse 3, Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. Even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, come and take your bride away. How my soul longs to see your face, my King. Even so, even so. Come, Yeshua, come. What is the fourth reason why God draws us to himself? I will tell you. The fourth reason why he calls us to himself is to give us an opportunity to receive an impartation of his grace. Hallelujah. Impartation. What is impartation? Impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities the possibilities of the kingdom that come by the grace of God can be transferred that means you can leave this camp with an anointing you did not come with you can leave this camp with a mantle you did not come with and people will look at you and say when did Saul also become one of the prophets can I tell you this 
you must expect to carry something this night that you were not born with you must expect to carry something on your destiny this night i can tell you specific moments in my life when certain graces came i knew when they came and i knew the difference they made in my life when the mantle and the grace for favor comes on your life you will know when the healing anointing comes on your life you will know when the grace for revelation comes upon your life you will know when the grace for the prophetic comes upon your life you will know when the grace that was upon esther comes on your life you will know now listen carefully because we are going to get into a very deep moment of of ministration and impartation you came here tonight you have listened to teachings after teachings now is the time for something from heaven to land upon your destiny jesus put in my heart an instruction and a mandate i have said it for as many times as i have come here that every nation and every city every church and every region he would send me to that i will find people in that congregation that the light that came from him to me there must be someone in that congregation he told me that that light should come on listen carefully many of you have heard about my encounters i've only shared a bit of them this man standing before you is a product of many 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 encounters listen very carefully there are angels in this place number two there are graces that are looking for men who will carry them in this place now please listen very carefully for some of you your being here tonight is the 20 year prayer that your mother kept praying and say lord i didn't have the opportunity to be used by you but if you can find my son or my daughter Please place something upon their life. Now listen carefully, please. Don't be distracted. There are conditions to receive maximally in an atmosphere like that, like this. And that's what I want to tell you very quickly and then we'll begin, I begin to minister. Number one is that you must believe in the God of heaven. Believe that god is the giver of every good thing for the bible declares that every good and perfect gift cometh from above from the father of lights in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning number two you must believe in the vessel that he has sent you can believe in god and not believe in the vessel he has sent to you can i tell you it is not every anointing available that blesses you is the anointing sent to you for the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent to that means elijah as powerful as he was he passed other widows and could not help them but there was a specific one i will tell you hunger and determination can attract the anointing to your direction i have been to many meetings in my life especially during the formative years as god was making and building me i would run into powerful meetings and just hide there like a sponge with hunger with deep honor and reverence to jesus and reverence to the anointing and receive dramatic impartations i wish i had the time i would have shared with you in details 
how certain anointings came to my life i wasn't born with any one of them please hear me for some of you you have been coming for this congress for a few years but you've not been discerning enough and you went back without receiving anything serious god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you this may be your first time being here god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you you have come but you see yesterday's oil cannot solve today's challenges i came here tonight in addition to teaching you all of the things you have learned to release by faith the power of god over your lives and over your situations but then to leave you with a deposit of an anointing that you will go back like the foxes that samson released and you will go everywhere bringing glory to the name of the lord signs and wonders through your life manifestations of strange graces through your life this is what god wants to do are you ready for it tonight affect my life breathe on me I look to you for life affect my life breathe on me I look to you for life affect my life breathe on me Lord I look to you for life affect my life breathe on me one more time affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life now please listen very carefully there are men and women here everybody has a role and an assignment to play in destiny but there are specific people here the call for destiny and the call to serve the purposes of god has been trailing you like a shadow and god has been beckoning on you some of you have seen it in dreams you have seen god use you mightily now the time has come for that grace to locate you listen i'm going to pray for you and the power of god will begin to fall on so many people please whether you are an usher or not i want you to bring this category of people that i'm praying for right now hear me that the call of god is upon your life and the grace of god is marvelously looking for you and at work in you for some of you it is the prophetic for some of you it is the evangelistic for some of you it is the pastoral right now at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hands the marvelous fire of god will fall upon you let me have them out here right now at the count of three father in the name of jesus over the men and the women here may that mantle and that grace locate you now at the count of three one two three take that fire now bring them out Take that fire now. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. I ignite your spirit, man. Bring them out. That call of destiny. That grace. You are answering that call tonight. Oh, by his angel, may he visit you. I release that grace upon your life. I release that mantle upon your life. I release that anointing upon your life. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help those under the anointing. 
Take that grace. Your destiny will never be the same. Now listen carefully. Hear me. There are some of you here under my, the sound of my voice. There is a mantle for prophetic intercession. It's a grace that is made for the altar. An anointing that will rest upon you. And grant you capacity to pray. Over nations. Capacity to release nations in prayer. At the count of three. May that grace fall upon you. One. Two. Three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The grace for prayer. And intercession. Please help them. Don't allow anybody run around without holding them. Whether you are an usher or not. Please. So they don't injure themselves. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Prophetic intercession. Like Elijah. Like Anna the prophetess. Abrande ke parosha de leke parusiate. Ekra vene ke te bretska de leka tosiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That gentleman wearing a tag, putting your hand on your head. This man. Yes, you. Come. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline Lord, how they are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for you in God. Verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but thou o lord as a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 
please give it to us quickly Acts chapter 12 from verse 4 the Bible says that Peter was kept in prison and the Bible says they kept him in prison intending that after Easter they would bring him out so that the people would kill him verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him what happened and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison verse 7 the Bible says and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the Bible says and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision Ten. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the Bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of man it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the Bible says that this gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of Jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility I declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of bars and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them would see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. 
the unit of destiny is time god can bring you help speedily are we together now yes we are going to pray the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel we are going to pray lord bring speed to my life bring speed to my life lift your voice and begin to prophesy speed 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 someone prophesy someone declare speed to my destiny speed to my destiny speed to my destiny speed to my life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked you are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life your family your children you are going to command it to give way are you ready lift your voice and pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lord of the righteous hallelujah 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 job chapter 5 please job chapter 5 and verse 19 we are praying please take this prayer serious job chapter 5 and verse 19 are you ready to read want to read with me he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea in seven shall no evil touch you number one next verse please in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword next verse thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth why listen it says for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field that means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me you use sand you i, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because i was given dominion over them say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit no enchantment no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive lift your voice and pray i am in covenant i am in covenant I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Alléluia. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 By all means, Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving, but in the realm of the Spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4. I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations. Verse 5. And strangers. This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feed. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said, there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elia are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. hallelujah now listen her man was plotting the annihilation of the jews and he was clearly cooperating with vashti and god needed to remove vashti and when god brought esther esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured esther knew that if she kept quiet one day they would discover she were a jew and they would kill her and she took the risk i'm going to meet the king even without his invitation if i perish i perish one of the things i'm praying and trusting that god will do to the body of christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we are going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 hallelujah hallelujah let me make decrees over our lives now decrees are powerful hallelujah prophetic words don't only reveal they create they make what is not there to be there we can call the things that be not and make them to appear we can call the favor that be not 
and make it appear we can call the lifting that be not and make it appear are you ready to pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of jesus everywhere the helpers of your destiny are men instructed by god to hold your hand and lift you i don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe i stand by the voice of prophecy and i command them to show up in your life 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 listen to me every strange pattern an occurrence in any family circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves i stand by the god of heaven and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood i break those patterns now and jabez was more honorable than his brethren the bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him jabez and for a while things will not go well in his life and one day he said oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast is someone ready to pray listen god is a god of increase is it is the will of god that you keep moving from glory to glory not that you become stunted in one position i pray for you in the name of jesus expand expand to the left expand to the right i'm praying for you by the power of the holy ghost expand to the east expand to the north expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor ah. in the name of jesus christ the kind of favor you have not seen in your life i stand by the god of heaven if you can believe it i declare between now and next week sunday return with a fearful testimony of favor i speak it from the depth of my spirit return with a fearful testimony of favor we shift systems we shift structures and i command favor i declare favor i command favor i declare favor can i pray for your spiritual life everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of god you used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we're wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah 
let me pray for those in business i believe in the power of the holy ghost and i believe in miracles i don't care how it has been before now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what has refused to walk in your hands go back right now and watch wonders happen go back right now and watch wonders happen go, uh, go back and watch wonders happen in the name of jesus christ And whatsoever he doeth prospers whatsoever he doeth prospers one last prayer for tonight there is something called honor see you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself it takes another person to confer honor upon you honor is a grace that is transferable he said thou shall find Joshua in whom the spirit is upon and he says that thou shall lay your hands upon him and then he says you shall take some of your honor and you shall give to him honor is transferable the cure for shame and the cure for reproach in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare may this mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise You are going to pray and say father the power of resurrection let it speak in my life right now total victory lift your voice and pray the culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts but there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now go ahead and pray the power of resurrection it must work in my life that power that raised christ from the dead Someone is praying. That I may know you and that I may walk in the power of your resurrection. The power of resurrection. Bringing life and vitality to my body. The power of resurrection. Keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment. hallelujah in the name of jesus up from the grave he arose with the mighty triumph o'er his foes he arose the victor from the dark domain and he leaves forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose Hallelujah, Christ arose. He arose, he arose. Hallelujah, Christ arose. Last prayer point. Everything dead in my destiny, because he arose, I command you by the power of resurrection. Arise now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare
Shabrakata barakatos kedea. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Make meaning of your Easter. Because he arose. I decree and declare. I arise. Spiritually, I arise. Financially, I arise. Destiny wise, I arise. And every power of the grave, every power of the grave, every grave clothes over my life, every grave clothes over my ministry. Are you praying? Every grave clothes over my family, my children. Pray. I command you. Give way right now. I lose those grave clothes. If he arose, then I arise. If he arose, then I arise. Pray over every challenge in your life. Financial challenges, health challenges. Because he arose, I arise. Refuse to remain in the grave. He is risen. The doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose, you also arise. Same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me ah, lives in me prophesy over your destiny same power that conquered the earth lives in me lives in me lives in me Listen, I want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection. Now that you are still alive, there are still other things that are dead. And you can't be alive and something around your life is now dead. I want to speak, believe it, that in the name of Jesus, dead finances, let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now dead relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now dead health conditions hear me anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body i command that dead organ to come back to life now dreams dreams that god gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now giftings abilities that have died that god gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance i decree and declare they come back to life now I hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead I lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved 
we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of Jesus Christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful I see you dying I want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over I repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if i go out and i die what if i come and i die what if i take a plane and it crashes what if i go by road and something happens i command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now in the name of jesus the works of your hands whatever has died hear the word of the lord i bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop jesus from coming back to life i transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. I, decree I decree and declare that i am a child of god, child of god. Born, of born of the word and born of the spirit i believe, I believe that jesus, jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died I believe he was buried I believe he went to the place of the dead I believe he defeated Satan sin hell and the grave I believe he resurrected by the glory of the Father I believe that he ascended to heaven I believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speak it on this wise i want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness i am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of jesus christ hallelujah from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens Jesus be the center It's all about you Yes, it's all about you Jesus be the center of your church 
Jesus be the center of your church from beginning to the end it will always be it's always been you Jesus listen return back home with this consciousness gather your children together and tell them look I gave you money I gave you education but I need to present Jesus he died and he rose today he is alive I believe in Jesus this is why we do the things that we do to see that we become contributors to this global harvest is the reason why we trust him for greater levels of his grace so the sick can be healed so that the every miracle every manifestation of the miraculous is not just promoting the man of god it's not just promoting the ministry there is a message behind it jesus is lord enthroned so whilst we begin to pray and god starts changing people's lives some of you overnight it will do you like a dream that a captivity of years will suddenly fade away this time listen don't just celebrate the miracle read the letter that that miracle brought i am lord exalted reminds me of my encounter with the lord jesus christ it remains ever fresh it's an encounter that never fades that face that I saw, you can look at it for the rest of your life and not be tired. It's not like men that I look at your shoe, I look at this, I'm tired. No. I'm about to make an altar call and then we'll pray. This resurrection day, you should not walk back with the chains that came with you. Because it is true that he's risen. The resurrection is what gave us justification now that we are justified we have access to all the dimensions of grace the bible says let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need are we together i know that there are people here you sang thank god for the brilliant worship team and all the mighty things that had happened here but you are in this auditorium thousands of you you are outside all of the overflows down the thousands of people following from around the world we must get to the point where we make jesus the desire of nations not just ministry jesus we must make jesus become the the focal point in this city wherever you are Do not allow this significant day to pass. Whilst you are seated inside and outside, the Spirit of the living God is talking to you. And He's saying you need Jesus. Not just as a religious experience. Now, probably there are some of you, you once gave your life to Jesus. But right now, looking at your life, you know that you need to come to Him again. Aside from those here at the balcony, every other overflow, I would request when I make the call that you just walk to your projector screen and then those outside too. Those online you can follow very carefully. I'm going to count one to five and I want you to leave your seat sincerely. If you're saying, Apostle, I need Jesus as a matter of life. I'm not pretending it. He will win that war no matter where you are no man condemns you this is home come one two keep coming celebrate them as they come You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands 
of those you have created You took all my guilt and shame When you died and rose again Now today you reign In heaven and now exalted I really want to worship you my God You have won my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me Gave your life to set me free So I lift my voice to you Jesus is still calling people don't sit back and say we came there are so many people and I'm ashamed no leave your seat and come celebrate them as they come outside all the overflows down those following online from the US to Europe to Asia all over the world he calls you today this is the greatest gift we can give his majesty to celebrate this day Someday when we stand before him, we will see everyone who is out here and we will rejoice. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout victory. Don't let the devil condemn you. This is home. You are not coming to a funeral. This is where you exchange your weakness for his strength. This is where you exchange your limitations. This is where you exchange every cost for his strength. Hallelujah. Stick it up. You know, I'm looking at an adorable baby here that came with her mother. And I almost feel like just grabbing that lady to lift her up. I've got a message from the Lord Hallelujah A message unto you I bring Tis recorded in his word Hallelujah It's only that you look and leave Sing it with me Look and leave My brother leave Look to Jesus Right and leave. We've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you can leave. The Bible declares, For God so loved the world that he gave then his one and only begotten. Today he is the firstborn of we the begotten. To the end that whosoever believes in him. The Bible says he should not perish, but have everlasting life. I thank you for the courage to come. It takes a lot of courage. Please lift your right hand with me as high as you can to the heavens. Jesus is standing here. I want you to make this declaration. Let it be from the depth of your heart and let it be in truth. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. You're before Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus thank you for your death thank you for your resurrection tonight i have heard your word and i declare that i love you with all my heart i declare according to the authority of scripture that jesus from today and forever is my lord my savior and my king i declare that from today i walk in victory satan take your hands away from my life he's hearing you say it again satan take your hands from my life i declare that i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never 
amen and amen praise the name of the lord father as a trophy of honor we present to you these souls it is a joy to see them come to become part of this global family and lord we thank you because no man comes to you except you draw them the eloquence of a preacher cannot draw people it is the goodness of god that leads men to repentance therefore lord i pray that you will keep them i commend them to the ministry of the spirit and the ministry of the word i declare that you walk in the newness of life from today in the name of jesus now very quickly this is what i want you to do there's someone waving the placard there's a counselor there please i will request all of you in concert just follow the counselor the placard they'll just have your details very quickly and you'll return to your seat can we honor them as they go koinonia is this the best you can do celebrate them same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me that's a profession of faith same power that comes at the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me speak forth your profession of faith same power that conquered the grave lives in me let every infirmity hear you let every situation hear you your love that rescued me lives in me chapter 2 and verse 14 we're going to pray the bible says having spoiled principalities and powers blotting out every handwriting and ordinance that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross 15 it says and having spoiled principalities the word spoiled there means to plunder them he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it we're going to pray and we're going to shake off everything provided it was nailed to the cross it must be nailed in your life today are you ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and declare when you rose again everything that was not god died and i declare by the spirit of grace i am a child of god and everything that is not with the Christ must let me go now. Lift your voice and pray. We're well, praying. Someone pray. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome they. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome Declare to the realm of the spirit Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken you are the victor's crown. You are the power. Every failure must come 
Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Everything that is not of God that is in this place and in your life is about to give up now. Listen. Please do not keep quiet. In the next one minute, I'd like you to call by name everything you know was nailed to the cross that is a concern in your life and tell it in the name of Jesus it's time to go. Poverty was nailed to the cross. Costs and yokes. Delay was nailed to the cross. Is someone praying, Koinonia praying, inside, outside, following online, decree and declare, we establish the victory of the Christ, over situations and circumstances, over my health, over my children, over my job, I declare up from the grave, he arose his victory, and a partake of that victory. Politicians pray, business people pray, heads of parliament pray. Break every pain, every handwriting, every cost, every yoke, every manipulation of darkness. I come against you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is the time to pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Pray for your children. They come under the city of Christ. Pray for your job, your business, your ministry. Pray for your family. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. When they came to look for his body, they said he is risen. He is no longer here. That means I can't be, I can't be where you knew me yesterday and where you met me yesterday. The Bible says up from the grave. He arose. Kali kaparuta siata. You are going to declare your advancement in Christ. Lord, I reject this position. I declare by the Spirit, prophetically, I'm moving forward. I was raised up. I must rise up. I was raised up. Now I must rise up in destiny. Never remaining down. Never remaining limited. Someone pray. You came to church to pray. Make decree. Husband and wife. Pray. Business people. Pray. Decree and declare. We establish victory over this home, over this ministry, over this family. Yo 
are not wasting your time. You are at standing levels in the space. This is Koinonia. As you pray, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, the grave could not hold him. The grave cannot hold you. Failure could not hold him. Failure cannot hold you. This I know, you have won it all for me, that could not hold you back, yeah. you are the reason I your majesty. Hallelujah. Who is Gideon? I'm hearing a name Gideon. Who is Gideon? Gideon. I'm hearing a name Gideon. Where are you coming from? Gariki. Gariki. Where? Gariki. 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 Yes. You're Gideon. What's your name? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the Lord bring a very great miracle to the family of Gideon. As a result of this supernatural miracle, miracles are happening here. Miracles are happening here. Is your name Gideon? My your father. In the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you according to the word of the Lord I decree and declare the grace that establishes the victory of Christ over your lives and your families take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ oh we are talking of the power that raised Christ here from the dead help them please please ushers please let's be sensitive we are talking of the power that raised Christ from the dead that you will never be the same the visitation comes to your family comes to you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i'm going to pray please i want you to bring them out the lord is showing me 25 people i'm seeing the number 25 these people have gone through circles i'm seeing repeatable patterns over their lives and their family what is happening to someone is what is happening to another person unconnected right now i'm seeing fire just resting on people father inside and outside i declare that everyone here at this resurrection they bring them out who is under the yoke of patterns patterns of witchcraft patterns of devilish activities at the count of three in the name of jesus may that fire rest from you bring them out one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire please help them whether you are harsher or not the benefits of easter setting the captives free i stretch my hands again across the balcony the overflows anyone here you came for koinonia and there is a pattern of witchcraft that will not let you go will not let your family go in the name of jesus the christ of god you come on that judgment the judgment of the christ bring them out everyone lift your voice and begin to pray please pray Victory is being established in our life. Enough is enough. There must be an opening of the gates. 
If it is true that he made a public show of principality, if it is true that every cost and every ash, he must come to an end over your life. Now look up, please. I'm still praying. There are people here, good things come to you, but just when you are about to handle it, failure, even at the edge of success, I'm seeing fire fall, my God. Anyone under the sound of my voice, the spirit that is back of it, here in the name of the resurrected Christ, we declare they catch fire now. Bring them out. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. The Lord is breaking patterns of death. There are families every year you must bury someone in the name of jesus i declare if there is any family that death is eyeing now i declare and decree death passes over your family now we are praying The Lord is healing someone right now. We'll soon wrap up, but I'm seeing someone. You have an issue with your back. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know if it's whatever issue it is. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Check it right now. The power of God is touching you. Someone, I don't know if you are wearing a, a neck collar. Is it a neck collar or a bracelet or whatever it is? You have a problem with your neck. Check it right now. A miracle is happening to you I'm about to pray for the stick I believe in miracles I believe in the victory of Jesus I don't know who I'm speaking to anyone sitting on what is yours I come by the rod of the higher priesthood hear me I speak as one sent by God anyone sitting on what is yours right now I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn I overturn for families I overturn for businesses I overturn for politicians I overturn I'm hearing a name faith who is faith faith you're wearing a black scarf faith who is that please let's ushers let's help so that we don't make this place rowdy please please can we have some ushers here so that we don't make this place rowdy please don't just come out carelessly Make it my, make it my, make it my. Make it, make it go, make it my. Make it my, make it my, make it my. I'm one of the kind. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her life now, never to return again. Help this one. In the name of Jesus, 
anyone here who is under any influence that is not of the Christ I stand by the spirit of grace and I declare and declare unto you this night it comes to an end now